Alright, what's going on guys? I know it's been a very long time since the last time I have posted a video. Sorry for that light back there. It is, uh, I don't, I don't know, I, I installed two new bulbs and they just keep flickering. But anyways, back to the point. Uh, since my last video, I have bought a house. I've got engaged. I bought two foilers, two Honda Groms. Uh, I bought another car. Um, so in two cars, two foilers, two dirt bike slash little motorcycles and today we're working on my player scrambler it's a 2013 850 i got all the plastics off because my front diff decided to uh, go out on me like literally a month after i bought it so this is the front diff that came out of it and you see all the scoring inside it was not a pleasant um there's all my bearings it was uh, not pleasant whatsoever. There was a lot of scoring on the actual pinion itself. So today I have got me a new one. It's used, but I bought it from a guy in Louisiana. They wrapped it all up in bubble wrap. With uh, two little The guy I bought this from, it came off of a another bolt off of a 2017 uh, player scrambler 850 and it should work with my 2013 oh another bolt so I got all four mounting bolts which I did not need because I still have my own but that's good that he gave it to me and here we are it looks a little dirty but I'm not worried about that at all. Even more dirty. As you can tell, look, that is just uh, straight dirt. And his is pretty, pretty clean. Uh, looks like some of the oil or fluid might have leaked out of it. It's all right. I'm gonna install it and then do a fluid flush change on it. So, um, okay, it spins. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure it all works just fine. I actually, uh, brand new gear case, that player calls it a gear case, but brand new front diff for this fuller, brand new, $1,400 plus tax and shipping, and I was not willing to pay that price, so I actually, uh, this guy hit me up on Facebook and the group that I'm in, and he was like, I got a 2017 850 gear case. I let it go for $500. I was like, deal, bro. Send that shit to me. So let's get, let's get this thing in, the, in there. All right, so it has actually been um, probably about two months or maybe a little bit longer since... I took everything apart, got my old one out and everything like that. I tried to find another one for a decent price. So, bear with me because I do not remember how to put all this stuff together. So it might take a little bit longer than uh, a normal person. Alright, so I got it in there. It's in there. As you can tell, I put the uh, drive shaft on there. It's literally just held on by a wire because I lost the piece that goes to the middle of that. But that's only just for testing right now. As you can tell, I got it to go up on the shaft. I put some bolts under it just to hold it in place for now. I only put three of them. Um, I got to plug in this right here. I think it goes between here. It goes up here. It looks like it plugged in. And uh, that should be that. Show the other side. See, it's just, I just wrapped a wire on there. Um, it's not going to move that I know of. It's pretty much in there. Um, I tightened down my power steering rack. And we're going to try to get this to go, but I don't think it's going to start because my battery is not the best. Didn't think so. Alright, so we got it hooked up. 
there's a lot of wiring on here that the previous owner did and I'm going to get rid of all this because it's just junk but turn that to jump hopefully this works should be a neutral come on hopefully it works now let's see let's see come on please 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 Alright, this is day two um, after work. So you saw that I put it in there, everything works. Um, so now what I have to do is I gotta take this battery out, maybe take out some of these wires. Um, and for the steering shaft, there's two bolts down there that I gotta tighten up, and there's two bolts somewhere along the lines of right here, somewhere that I gotta tighten up because I'm losing those. And then after that, I can put my battery back in, and I can start putting my A-arms back in, my axles, and everything like that. So, let's get started. I thought about that too. I just haven't changed that yet. Alright, so I took the battery out, tightened those bolts up. Those are all good now. Um... Now, I guess I can start putting this all back together, put my axles back in, and my AR, my, my A arms, and my spring. Alright, let's get to it. So, as I was sitting here editing the video, I noticed that after I went to go install my A arms and everything, my SD card got full, so I don't have any footage of that either. So, the one time I actually go to do another YouTube video, I don't have any footage of what I actually did, but here's the rest of the video. Okay guys, this is um, probably a couple days after the last time I shot. Anyways, I got it all put back together. I got all that done. This side was a little pain in the butt because the actual axle came apart on me, so I had to redo the axle. But it all got put back together where it's back to be, or where it's supposed to be. Uh, I went ahead and bought a new battery from O'Reilly's. The other battery just wasn't starting it, so I just went ahead and replaced it because I don't know how long the other battery's been in here. But it starts right up now.
So there it is. I'm going to do the, I got some parts over there I did for, or I got for an oil change because I have not changed oil since I got it probably about six months ago. I don't know when was the last time the guy did an oil change himself. Um, I also got some stuff to do a front diff fluid change. I probably should have done that before I got that in there, but I was too excited to get it in there and ride. So I'll do that another video. We'll change another video. Probably do the front diff fluid change and oil change in another video. Another problem I'm having is I have my shocks back here like do not work at all. I have like no suspension in the back. I can step on it, put something heavy on it. It does not squat at all. So. I gotta figure that out, and I still gotta take all this lighting stuff off that he had, and we should be good to go. So, you guys, please stay tuned. I'm gonna try my best to do more videos. I'm I'm excited to see what's gonna come in this garage I have now. I wish I'd done a video on all the drywall and all the foam insulation, but I guess I just didn't even think about it but I got a whole bunch of videos coming hopefully with a whole bunch of projects in this garage and there's all my plastics so I hope that everyone has a great rest of their day slash night whenever you're watching this and good luck and power through for whatever you're doing in life because at the end it all get better have a good day